Okay, today we are solving Philip Newman's gas puzzle from January 11th, 2024, called Dapper Lines. This is a zipper line Sudoku. That means we have normal Sudoku rules, so we're placing the digits 1 through 9 once each in each row, each column, and each 3x3 three three outlined region. On top of that, there are some lines in the grid. Each of these lines has an odd length, and whatever number goes in the middle of the line has to be the sum of each pair of numbers that are equally far apart from the middle. So for example, whatever goes here has to be the sum of these two numbers, and it also has to be the sum of these two numbers. And whatever goes here has to be the sum of these two, and it has to be the sum of these two. And I have a I have a confession to make, which is that um, on my first attempt at this puzzle, it took me just over 17 minutes. I got one dinosaur. I think I have a handle on how to solve it pretty cleanly now. Um, God knows I spent enough time with it to figure that out. So uh, let me see if I can convey that to you guys. So first of all, we're going to start with the outside lines. This one is the most restricted. It has an 8 along the line, and the only number that can be in the middle because of that is a 9, because that's the only number that's big enough to make a sum including an 8. So 8 plus 1 is 9, and also 7 plus 2 is 9. So let's try to do something similar with the other lines. So this line, we have a 5 as part of one of the sums, so the middle digit definitely has to be bigger than 5. It can't be 8. So it has to be 6, 7, or 9. However, if it was 9, we would have to place a second 4 on the line here because 4 plus 5 is 9. So this must be 6 or 7. And then 4 plus 3 is 7, 4 plus 2 is 6. 5 plus 1 is 6, and 5 plus 2 is 7, so that's 1 or 2. Down here at the bottom row, the center digit has to be 8 or 9. Now eight plus, or 7 plus 1 is 8, and 7 plus 2 is 9, so this cell has to contain 1 or 2. And then this is where the magic kind of happens. So here we have to place either a 2 if this is 8, or a 3 if this is 9. So this is a 2 or a 3, but because we already have a 1-2 pair in the row, we know that it's going to be a 3. So now that's a 9, that's a 2, that's a 1, this is a 6 because it's 5 plus 1. And now we can place a 2. Final outside line, this has to be a minimum of 7, and it can't be exactly 7 by Sudoku rules, so this is an 8 or a 9. And so this cell contains either a 3 or a 4, and the cell is going to contain either a 2 or a 3. There is already a 2 in the row, so this will be a 3, and that makes our center digit a 9, and this is also going to be a 4. Awesome. Now let's work on some of the shorter lines, and then we'll do a bit of Sudoku. So, this center line. These two digits on the outside sum to 9. The ways to sum to 9 are 1 and 8, which is good. 2 and 7, which is no good because we have a 2. 3 and 6, no good because we have a 3. And 4 and 5, no good because we have a 5. So this must be a 1-8 pair. Now let's do a little bit of Sudoku. So we'll work our way around the outside. And what stands out to me here is that I have this 9, which prevents me from putting a 9 in either of these cells, but the other cells in the column are almost entirely full, so the only place for a 9 in the column is there. I get something really similar with 5. On the top row, 5 is eliminated from these cells because there's a 5 in the region, so 5 can only go here. Here I don't have anything quite like that, so I'm just going to pencil mark my options here and note that there's no 2 in this cell because of the 2 in the row. Here, 4 is eliminated from these cells, so 4 is going to get placed here. And that's a 5-8 pair. Now I'm going to pencil mark in the rest of my pairs, just so I don't have to go back and figure out what they are later. That is going to be a 4-6 pair. Now here's the part that took me 17 minutes. <laughs> um, so <laughs> let's, um, let's look at some of what can go into some of these kind of 2-by-2 two two areas of cells here. So let's start by having a look at this one. So the remaining digits that we need to place in this 2x2 two two area are 1, 4, 5, and 6, right? So we can make some simple eliminations. There's a 5 in the row already, so we can eliminate 5. Also, we can't make a 1 as a sum of two other digits, so 1 can't go in the middle. 6 is too big to go on the end of the line. Now, the next observation I made is that this actually can't be a 4, and this is kind of what hung me up the first time I tried this. But if this was a 4, the only way to make it as a sum would be 1 plus 3, which actually doesn't work because this end of the line would have to be the 1, thanks to the 3-7 pair here. 
But then this end of the line couldn't be the three because there's a three in the column. So this definitely has to be six. And if it's six, what is this missing digit? So this is either one or four. So this is either two or five and it can't be five. So we have a two and a four summing to six there. Now we're trucking. Um, so this is two, three, seven, and nine. Those are just our missing digits again. Let's eliminate two from these cells by Sudoku and nine from these ones. Similarly here, we can't have three in the middle because we can't have one and two. The digits we have available are not small enough. And we also can't have a nine on the end because nine just can't be part of the sum. Now, if this was a seven, then the center digit would have to be a nine, which would mean nine equaled seven plus two in these two cells. But we can't put a two in these two cells because there's a two in the column. So this is not a seven, this is a three. That makes this either a four or a six, depending on whether this is seven or nine. This is already a four, so this must be a nine with a six, and we can eliminate the three from those cells. Before we go down here, which is kind of our, our odd box out, let's go up here. So we need for these cells one, two, seven, and eight, right? We have a one, five pair that lets us eliminate one here. We have a two that lets us eliminate two here. We can't put eight on the end of this line because we don't have a big enough number for eight to be part of the sum. And we can't put two in the middle. So now we know where two goes in this region. The only possible position for two is right here. And let's leave the rest of it and let's do a bit more Sudoku. So a couple of classic Sudoku moves. We have two nines here. And between that and the nine here, we have a hidden nine in region six. We have, what was the next move here? Ah, uh, we have a hidden nine also in region two. This cell can only contain a 3 or an 8, just by combining the row with the fact that there's a 1 and 7 in the region. And these are going to be some combination of 3, 4, 6, and 8. That can't be a 3 or 4 by Sudoku. That can't be a 6 by Sudoku. Now here we need um, 1, 7, 1, 5, 7, and 8 in the column. We already have 1, 5, and 8 in the row, so let's make this a 7. And then along this row now, we only have one position where we can put four. It can't go in those cells, so it has to go here. This is now not a five. We need to place a three in this region. It can only go in one of those cells, and there's already a three in this row, so that's a three. And then this is either a one or an eight. Now three has to go in one of these cells, so it must go here, because there's a three in column eight already. And that's going to be a two. So what do we still need to put into this region? So this is going to contain a 1, 5, 7, and 8. If we consider this line, this can't be an 8. And so now let's look closely at this line. So we need to make either a sum of 7 or we need to make a sum of 8 along this line. Now, there are three ways to make a sum of 7. 1 and 6, which we can't do. 2 and 5, which we can't do because we don't have a 2. And 3 and 4, which we, we don't have either a 3 or a 4. So we can't be making a sum of 7. This must be an 8. And specifically, it's an 8 that is a sum of 1 plus 7. This 1, 7 pair we now have here makes this a 3 and makes this an 8 and cleans up this box a little bit. This is now going to be a 7. And so now if we look vertically here, we have most of our digits taken care of in this column. We just need a 4, 5, and 6. So now this cell... Whatever is in it has to be bigger than this number because this is part of the sum. So this needs to be either a 6 or an 8. If this digit is a 6, and this is going to be kind of a repeat of the logic that we were doing over here. If this is a 6, then this would be an 8 and we would place a 2 there to make 2 plus 6 equals 8. But we're not allowed to place a 2 there because there's a 2 in the column already. So this can't be a 6, it must be a 5. So now 5 plus 1 is 8. Or 5 plus, or sorry, 5 plus 1 is 6, or 5 plus 3 is 8. But we don't have a 3 available, so we have to use the 6 and a 1 here. That finally fixes the 1, 8 in the middle of the grid. And we can finish up, hopefully, with some classic Sudoku. So, what do we still need here? We have a 6 in the region, so that's now a 4. We have a 1, 2, and 8. These are 2, 7, 8, and 9. That's not a 9 or an 8, so that's our 7. And we can get the rest of this row. And while we're at it, we can grab the rest of that box.
Now that that's a 2, we can make this a 7. This is the last digit in the row, so that's a 9. The 1 over here on the right side of row 6 makes this an 8. That's now a 1, 5, 1, 8, 5. And I think we're just about finished up now. Whoops, that's not a 3-4 pair. That's a 3-5 pair. I think I woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. I've been a little bit off with my solving, but hopefully you found that helpful. You can see this was my original time when I tested it. Um, it preserved that just because I'd already solved on this link before, and it was 1705. This time it went a little bit more smoothly than that. Hopefully that was useful to you guys. Um, thanks for watching, and come see us again tomorrow.